Hey there Scorpio, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for September 25th through to October the 1st. So let's jump in and see what's on the cards for you. Now if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button Scorpio and thinking about leaving me a comment, you might also want to subscribe. That lets me know that you enjoy the readings. It also uh, keeps the free readings coming so I'd be super grateful for that. Um, if at any time you'd like a personal reading, the first link down below will take you to my website. You can check out what I do offer. There's also links down there for for my freebie, my free learn tarot quick guide, my tarot course, karmic community, my Instagram, so you can explore those if you feel the pull. Okay, let's jump in. I'm starting this with a oracle card from the Moon uh, Moonology Oracle. Almost forgot that I use it every week. The, the Moonology Oracle. And we have your commitment is being tested. Okay. This could be your commitment to a certain path, it could be a commitment to your relationship, a goal or something that you're trying to achieve here, maybe a health goal. I just saw 111 on the uh, timer as I said that. Now uh, maybe your commitment to moving towards a new beginning. Now it's funny because when we actually start something new and we kind of enter into it with a certain amount into it, that's when the kind of fears, worries or insecurities can come up or that's where we can realize how much we you know, don't know or how far we really have to go. But really we can't allow that to, to put us off and you know, it's a natural part of the process. So your commitment is being tested. Let's see where this is going. So I'm going to the Major Arcana here, Scorpio. Now, these are just the big themes, big lessons of the tarot. And there's 22 of these cards. And you are navigating the sun. Well, that's a good energy. Now, this really says there's no block, obstacle, or challenge that you can't overcome here. It's Leo energy, and Leo is about strength, courage, and determination to keep following a dream or the call of a heart. So maybe you your commitment is being tested. Maybe you've come up against a block here, like a, a roadblock or a challenge or an obstacle. This is about an indication that you can overcome it and that there is a, a positive future here. So that's a gorgeous energy of healing, of things coming into balance and moving closer towards your victory. All right, let's jump into the full tarot deck, Scorpio. So I'm using the classic Rider right Waite tarot and we will jump in and see what the situational energy is. The lovers and the hierophant. Okay, look, you know, I don't normally just call these as love readings, but this does feel like this is potentially in a relationship, okay? Now I've got uh, Gemini and Taurus energy here. Of course, I've already had the Leo energy coming through. So the the lovers here is usually around soul partnership, okay? And the Taurian energy of the Hierophant is about higher commitment, marriage, and our commitment, you know, to that soul partnership. Now, the message that's coming through here is, you know, just because this is a soul partnership doesn't necessarily mean it will always be easy, okay? The Hierophant is sometimes a critical turning point where we're assessing the alignment here and whether there is enough alignment, right? Your commitment is being tested. Do you share, you know, the same vision for the future? Do you share core values and do you share lifestyle here and, and if so there's generally enough for you to kind of build on here but I sort of feel that maybe you've gone through some changes some growth and there might have been a period of growing apart here right and really this is the the decision point of are we investing are we committing to overcoming this challenge to get back on track let's see what the blocks obstacles and challenges are Nine of Cups and the Magician, which was kind of in reverse here. So what I'm feeling is that there's been uh, some lack of fulfillment here in this situation. Now, the Nine of Cups in the Challenge area might indicate that what you'd hoped or wished for within this big commitment hasn't really come to fruition or manifested. Now, Magician, that was in reverse, could be because there hasn't really been the, the action being taken or we might have a, a bit of an energy of 
the quiet quitting here where we stop making as much of an effort or we might feel like there is some lack of power in the situation to reach that potential okay so there's a block here and it could be you know because there is a situation that has arisen or um, you know some kind of roadblock let's see what the advice is Oh, the sun again and the tower in reverse so interesting so I feel that you might have been considering this a tower moment or thinking you know is this stable enough is this strong enough but it is coming through in reverse and um, this would indicate that you know you can strengthen this up again remember the sun is about overcoming hurdles and challenges overcoming the roadblock and being able to you know get back onto a path here it's a bit of a rebirth path here with the sun coming through as well and we see the child here there might have been some blocks around um, you know wanting to raise children differently or for some of you even you know a conception journey that might have you know been really challenging and really put a wedge in the relationship as well but i'm really feeling this energy of moving into strength courage and and, and carrying on and keep going but with the tower here in reverse it feels like we need to really work on the foundation here which as i said for me is always value vision and lifestyle and making sure we have alignment in those areas in order to really build on and strengthen this up because otherwise, you know, we just try and patch up the surface level and essentially, you know, we go around for another cycle and we end up back at a falling tower because we're really coming in with the same foundational energy. So let's get you a outcome for this. Your commitment's being tested, but we've got so much energy of healing and rebalancing and a really sort of bright, sunny energy in the future. Okay, we have, oh my goodness, the sun <laughs> and the fall. Okay, let's turn that up the right way, I think. Yeah, I feel like it's saying there's a new beginning, but it is within this situation. But we need to come at this with vulnerability, with openness. And, you know, maybe, you know, you've changed, right? The fall can be where we wanted to reconnect with our rebel heart, with our, you know, rebel spirit here as well. But what I'm really getting from this is that, you know, you can get back on the path here, back on the path of healing. Now, if you are trying to manifest something within the situation, this feels like the green light. And I have an energy here of by April, okay? By April, the sun energy is coming through and you're being guided and protected towards that outcome. Let's see if there's anything else that you need to know here. Seven of Cups and the Empress. That is so interesting because the Empress is also holds a lot of um, fertility vibes here, conception vibes, or it's the dream, like right? it's how you wanted this to go. It's new growth. Okay, now Seven of Cups is coming out, and this is going to be really important for you to get really, really clear on what you do really want, you know, from this commitment, from this connection. And also, this is the energy of making sure that you follow through, that you take action. Otherwise, we can have a dream and it doesn't really materialize because the action or the follow through wasn't really there. But if you do, if you do, Scorpio, the Empress is here and she is such an omen of growth, abundance, fertility, and actually making that dream happen, birthing that dream in the real tangible 3D world. So that is an absolutely gorgeous energy of creation and rebirth and a happy new chapter. So your commitment is being tested, yes, but the sun is shining. It says you can overcome this block and I feel that there can be new growth and healing in this situation. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I will leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the reading and it gave you some clarity, guidance and insight. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, the first link down below will take you to our website. You can check out there what I do offer. And also, if you'd like to join me on Instagram, I've got daily readings and daily content over there as well. I am just wishing you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.